Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to talk about group isomorphisms. So isomorphisms, isomorphisms. So an isomorphism between two groups is just a group homomorphism that is both one-to-one -one and onto. So here, we'll have two groups, say G and H. These are groups. And let's go ahead and carefully uh, define uh, what an isomorphism is. So an isomorphism, isomorphism, from G to H, so from G to H, is a group homomorphism group homomorphism that is both one to one and onto so that is both one to one and onto If we can find uh, an isomorphism from G to H, in other words, if there exists an isomorphism from G to H, um, then we say G is isomorphic uh, to H. So if there exists, so if we can find one, an isomorphism, from G to H, we say G is isomorphic to H, isomorphic to H. And the way we write this is kind of interesting. So it's denoted. And so we have G. And we use an equal sign and then like a funny little squiggly. That means G is isomorphic to H. So again, an isomorphism is just a group homomorphism. So it preserves uh, the group operation. And it's one to one and it's on to. Um, let's go ahead and do uh, a simple example. Well, we're given a function uh, and we prove that uh, it is an isomorphism. So then it, we essentially prove that these two groups are isomorphic to each other. Um, let's do one that's somewhat interesting. So let's take uh, phi. This is the same example we had uh, in the previous video where we showed it was a group homomorph homomorphism. So our first group here will be the set of real numbers under addition and it maps that into the positive real numbers under multiplication. And we're going to say that phi takes a real number x and sends it to e to the x. So we're going to show that this um, is an isomorphism. So before we do, uh, we need to recall the definitions of 1 to 1 and on to. So recall So phi, let's just say from G to H, is, I'm trying to paraphrase this, so is 1 to 1 if for all x, y in G, whenever we have phi of x equal to phi of y, that implies that x is equal to y. So whenever phi of x is equal to phi of y, x is equal to y. So that's what it means uh, for a function to be one to one. If you have a group homomorphism, so like if this is a homomorphism, homomorphism, and it's one to one, it's actually called an epi, uh, a monomorphism, whoops, monomorphism, fun, fun word, monomorphism. Epimorphisms are group homomorphisms that are onto. So phi g to h is onto 
if for all y in H we can find some x in G such that phi takes x and sends it to y. And um, if you have a group homomorphism and it's onto, so if this is also the same phi, it's also a homomorphism, it's called an epimorphism. Kind of a fancy word. So a monomorphism is a one-to-one -one group homomorphism, and an epimorphism is an onto group homomorphism. Fun stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and show that this is uh, an isomorphism. So we'll start um, by showing it's a group homomorphism. So for all x, y, a set of real numbers, we're going to look at phi of x plus y, right? The operation in this group here, this will be our, our g, this would be our h. The operation in g is addition, so it's x plus y. So that's equal to e to the x plus y. That's just by definition of phi. And then using properties of exponents, this is e to the x times e to the y. And that's equal to phi of x times phi of y. And that's true for all x, y. So this shows phi is a group homomorphism. I don't know why I put a period there. Homomorphism. So now we just need to show it's one-to-one -one and onto. And they're both pretty simple proofs. Let's go ahead and do them. So, so suppose that 5x is equal to 5y for some xy, for some arbitrary xy in R. That would mean that e to the x is equal to e to the y. And we know that implies that x is equal to y. So this shows that phi is 1 to 1. So phi is 1 to 1. And to show it's onto, we'll take a little bit more work. So the definition of onto says that for all y and h, there exists some x and g such that phi of x is equal to y. So we'll start by taking a y, so take y, and the set of positive real numbers. Now we have to produce x such that phi of x is equal to y. So I'm going to go to the side here and try to figure this out. So we need x such that this condition is true. So we need x such that phi of x is equal to y. Well, phi of x is just e to the x, so e to the x is equal to y. Well, we could take the natural log of both sides, right? So we get these cancel, so you get x equals ln y. So that's going to be our x. So take y in the set of positive reals, then x equals ln y is a real number and this is because this is because y is positive right so it makes sense so the fact that we're in the positive reals is actually important right remember you can't take the natural log of zero or a negative number right the domain of the natural log is only positive numbers and so we found our y now we just have to show that phi of x equals y so phi of x well that's equal to e to the x but what is x? x is ln y. It's equal to e to the ln y. And we know that's equal to y. So that this shows phi is onto. So phi is a group homomorphism. It is one to one. And it is onto. That means it is an isomorphism. So we've shown that phi is an isomorphism. So we've shown, so thus, the set of real numbers under addition, so the group of real numbers under addition, is isomorphic to the group of positive real numbers under multiplication. That's it.